We've looked at importing lots of different types of video, just a couple more items to show you. I'm going to do Control i to get my import dialog box. And I'm going to import a couple of items. Here's an Illustrator file. Now there's no other options, it's going to import an Illustrator file and it's going to import it basically as a flattened item. This particular Illustrator file has got a couple of layers, but those layers are just going to be flattened together and I click open and it happens to be a bumblebee and double click it to show you. In my project panel here is a bumblebee, and I can add it to my timeline wherever I like. It just happens to be an Illustrator file I had handy. Even though the wings are on a separate layer, it's still not going to come in as separate layers. It's just going to come in as a single flattened image that I can use as and how I want. But when it comes to a Photoshop document, if I double click to open my dialog box, this time go to PSDs, you'll see that I've got one that says Sea Houses Element. It's a fairly rubbish PSD, but it gives me an option box. So I can merge all layers together, which is the standard it's coming in. It's going to flatten the image, in other words. However, if I want to retain the layers, I can choose individual layers. Or if I want to just merge some layers, I can merge some layers together. So if I go Merge Layers, which layers do I want to merge together? Well, say I wanted to leave the shape out. And I want to leave the background out. I can bring in just two layers as flattened images. However, let's say I want the individual layers, and I just want those two layers. I can actually bring those in and select them if I wish. And finally, of course, you can bring them in as a sequence, in which case you might want to bring in everything. And here will come in as a standalone sequence, and you have access to all the layers that way. Let me just demonstrate that. I'm going to click Bring it in as a sequence. I want all the layers selected and click OK. And then I've got actually a Sea Houses Element bin. Open up the bin, and you'll see that I've got all the layers. So I could double click individual layers. And I could see what's involved with individual layers. That's just black, I think, that one. And that's some text. And I can double click to open the sequence up, and there are all the elements together to form whatever they form. But also, if I go back to my previous one, now here's the other sequence, the original one, which is my edited sequence. Go back a bit here. I can take that sequence, the Sea Houses sequence, and I can drop it in to my sequence here. So I've got the whole thing. And I can still open this one, double-clicking it, and turn off various layers. So if I want to turn off that layer and that layer, so I just have something that says Sea Houses, and I just say we don't want the shape, we just want text. And I go back to this one here, you'll see that all I've got now is the text, because I've turned off all the other layers inside the Sea Houses element. I can turn them back on again, you'll see what I mean. Turn all these layers back on, go back to my other one, and they're all back in there. Okay, so you can import Photoshop documents in lots of different ways, whereas the Illustrator file that I've just brought in comes in as one single item, but you can still use it and have lots of fun. <laughs>